This is Josie Reynolds from Zanki Gaming. Today I'll be comparing the Dragon Ball Z universe or Battle Z. So, starting off right off the bat will be the game intro. Now, over which one I prefer for this one, it's pretty obvious that, that it is Battle of the Z. Also because the universe kind of kind of copied a bit of Battle Z's intro, or what looks like it did. How both logos just apparently show up as soon as something good happens. But you know, as we can see for the Battle of the intro, characters are fighting against each other. It seems action packed, action paced. Xenoverse does show the villains, and we can see that the characters in the Xenoverse 1, the animated one, are fighting back. And Goku through Spear Pop for the Xenoverse 1, while Goku is through Saiyan 3 for Battle Z. I think Battle Z just really stays consistent with the battles. The battles, uh, the action, you could say. Well, Xenoverse is kind of more of a plain thing, you could say. It's kind of more, it doesn't really feel like a game intro, but more just. Also, this part is right here for the Xenoverse's intro. I don't think it should be really part of the intro in the beginning, but then once again, this is just a comparison. But, uh,. Oof, just type for Battle of Z's intro for this one. It just looks pretty nice, looks awesome, and amazing. So, intro's about to wrap up in quick sec, so we'll be moving on to... Moving on to story mode. Both the games, both games, well, they stretch from the Saiyan Saga all the way to the end of the Blue Saga. The only thing that Xenoverse does differently, obviously the story is altered just slightly a bit, but they also have GT Saga, well, the GT Saga, but yeah, that's DLC, and if you want to count it, you can. If you don't want to count it, they still have two other special sagas. And they also do have the Battle of Gods there. And even eventually a Resurrection of Beth. And over which one is better with the story? I gotta go with Xenoverse, obviously. Better story, everything's altered, and amazingness. Um, mission select screen. Best screen that we see. For the LLC, the mission select screen is for the story mode, and for Xenoverse, we call that PQs, aka Parallel Quest. Well, Parallel Quest are basically kind of like story mode missions. Kind of similar to Battle Z shows that they show the stage background, they give a title, they kind of show the enemies for both of them, and they give a certain thing. Anyway, moving on to character customization. Kind of similar in a way, but Xenoverse, they more just have like preset colors, like there's red, dark red, light red, uh, whatever color you really want. As for Battle Z, you just have three colors of a palette and the way you can customize them make them look good. And they both look uh, pretty awesome. Although which one I prefer for this one, um, I'm more just gotta say one thing. I wanna say I wanna go with, I'm kinda leaning towards Xenoverse's uh, color customization, but only for one good real reason pretty simple because it's kind of more easier on how you customize it in a way, but uh, that was kind of a little bit more, co I have no idea, maybe if they just did it with some more clothing for anyways. Anyway, so moving on to the battle fight system. For this one, I've used a sample match between Yamcha and Nappa with Xenoverse, and Xenoverse is just uh, more of a three-way battle. So as for the battle fight system, completely different. Yes, they both fire key blasts. Battle Z more of a, like a slow paced key blast. When you fire it, it takes a little bit. It's kind of slow. Xenoverse is a little bit fast, you could say. Um, also, they have a charged version of a key blast. You can also see the dash is a little bit different. For Battle Z, when you dash, you can just try to see the air. You really don't move that fast. With Xenoverse, you move pretty fast, actually. Really fast paced. Um, also, there's also both a target lock system where you can lock onto a character. I personally think it's kind of dumb how they put it in Battle Z now in Xenoverse. I think you should just be able to see the character. I don't, I don't like the little cursor in the name on top of the character. But uh, yeah, it looks uh, pretty nice so far. Um, over which one I prefer, it's pretty obvious it has to be Xenoverse. One thing is just really easy to spam, and kind of thing. Uh, it's not really the same. I don't want to say it's exactly the same, but. Uh, for Xenoverse, there is sometimes there can be two ultimate attacks, like an attack where they zoom in onto the character and they fire a special attack. And as for Battle Z, it's kind of similar how, let's say, Yamcha and Battle Z fire a comment on the hall. They zoom in onto the character, then after they show the blast hitting. Same with Xenoverse, only difference between that is Xenoverse is much better in how they show it. You can actually see kind of the destruction. I don't think Battle Z kind of shows any destruction, I think just a stage. And instead of the stage just regenerating Xenoverse, they really don't have anything 
you know, changing. But, um, Battle of Z has a 4v4 for their, actually, they more than a 4v4, 3v3, 2v2, 1v1, depending on it, but let's be honest here, if you don't have a good internet connection, you're not going to be in for a fun time. Xenoverse kind of, uh, for sure, has a better one. Less laggy than Battle of Z, I want to say. It depends on uh, your connection. Now I'm demonstrating Yamcha's fake death, and Yamcha's fake death is, uh, well, it's kind of a thing. It's mostly sometimes when Yamcha just uh, gets defeated on health. I think for Battle of Z, when Yamcha dies, just like on the ground with the same position. Either way, you can just see the system is much more better in Xenoverse. I'm really just stalling for a little bit, so let's just go over quick things. Um, a cool thing, actually, I want to say about Battle of Z, I'm not saying it's better in Xenoverse. But you can actually, when you're playing as that character, you can actually customize the character's clothes. So I'm having Yamcha kind of look like the adult Gohan. And you can see once again how I was explaining about the super attack and how it just does that in the Kamehameha. And as for other things, um, for the Yamcha in Xenoverse, Wolf Fang Fist is actually a melee attack, while in Battle of Z, it's more of just a boost onto your stats. Also, the uh, Battle of Z, they show the health. Um, for this one that shows time's up, I'm just gonna restart it real quick for Xenoverse, but it's just really a quick demonstration of how it looks. There is a draw system, if you, well, there's nothing really new I can really say. Um, the retry system, not retry system, yeah, it's, well, it is a retry system, so that's how many lives you have, and if everyone dies, you're basically dead. Certain characters have a certain amount of lives, and yeah, for Xenoverse, if just everyone dies, that's it. For Battle of Z, if somebody dies and the rest of your teammates are alive, you lose. So there's me showing uh, defeating Nappa in a story mode mission. And then after you can just see a cutscene real quick, uh, I can really beat this match real quick for Xenoverse. We're just demonstrating they both have that awesome Yamcha pose, and that's really for the fight system. Now, moving on to music. Now, I can't really demonstrate the music, but I want to say over which one I prefer. I gotta go with, I kind of lean towards both. I like Xenoverse as the OST, and I like Z's OST. I kind of prefer Xenoverse a little bit more. But other than that, here's my final thoughts. My final thoughts are pretty obvious. Xenoverse has to be the most obvious winner. Now, I can say that there maybe are a few aspects that didn't maybe chose from that OZ. A few things, maybe small. But comparing these two games is really nonsense. Uh, and really, both games are good in their own way, but obviously Xenoverse comes out on top. Even though there might be a few options Xenoverse doesn't have, that's apparently Battle Z may have had, like for an example, customization and a few other things. But other than that, it's really all I can say for this video. Type in the comments what you prefer. Do you prefer Battle Z over Xenoverse, or Xenoverse over Battle Z? Tap in the comments what you think and you decide. Thanks for watching, like, favorite, share, no obligation on your side. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this re re battle as much as I did.